Alright, welcome back to the channel and the build out of our van. So today we're going to start on some electrical components. We're going to get the batteries installed and probably the inverter and maybe a couple other little gadgets. Uh, not going to hook up the wiring just yet. I don't have all the parts. But we're going to get everything laid out, set up, tied in place. And then uh, the wiring should go pretty simple after that. So if you want to see how we do this, stick around. So to get our batteries in place, we're going to uh, put them on top of our shelf right here. That's how we're going to install those. And then I have two sets of strapping that we're going to be using to hold the batteries down with some stainless steel eye pads that we'll uh, put in place. That way we can loop the straps around and uh, be able to keep the batteries from sliding all over the place. So that's the first thing I'm going to do. So we're going to go ahead and set these in place, figure out where we want those little strap hold downs, and uh, get things strapped in. Let's do it. All right, so this might get a little difficult to see, but I have a strap here on the front, one there on the back, one here on this end, and one here on this end. And same way with this battery. So I'm just going to go ahead and slide that battery in there. We'll dig out our straps and put those in place and then we'll get ready for our next component and just like that we are strapped in so I'll put the handles here on the top one in the back and one here on the face same way with the back one here and uh, right now our straps are pretty long and dangling down we'll cut those and seal the ends so they don't flop around and then we'll probably just wire tie those in place because I don't plan on taking the batteries in and out very often if at all my gosh those things are <laughs> 47 pounds are still heavy to lift up and get on that bench and move around all right so we're strapped in next step is to <clears throat> install a parallel bus bar and I think I think I'm gonna install that right in between the batteries and I'll put the positive on top, negative on the bottom, and then we can uh, run out our wires from here, probably to a couple of bus bars right here, and that way we'll start distributing power. So let me go ahead and get that set in place and uh, nailed down. All right, so we uh, have that bar installed, and uh, once my all of my other parts come, I can get the connectors black and red, black and red, connect the red, connect the black, and then we'll go out from here on down to the rest of the stuff that we're going to get ready to put on. So I think I'm going to go ahead and stick the inverter in place, see if that's where I want it, and then uh, fuse blocks, and then we have to figure out where I want the DC to DC charger. Might have to put that back here. We'll take a look. Alright, so let's get everything out of the box and set in place. Okay little uh, snapshot of what we've got done so far so we did put our inverter in place DC to DC charger I have a 50 amp breaker between the DC uh, charger and the power supply I do have my 12 volt uh, fuse block here and two shutoffs so I will have a shutoff coming off of the inverter and a shutoff for the 12 volt power supply and we'll be running into these bus bars. I do have a 200 amp fuse, inline fuse, that I'm going to be putting on a uh, circuit breaker for the inverter because the uh, batteries are rated at 300 amp and I'm putting them as parallel so you're looking at 600 amps and uh, I'm afraid big old power surge we'd burn that inverter up on 600 amps so we're just going to go ahead and put a uh, circuit breaker in between, shut off valve, shut off valve, a uh, battery shut off switch, <laughs> and uh, yeah, so I got to run to the store, get some fittings, and see if we can't start plugging in some wires before we uh, get a little too far, but we are ready to start wiring things up, and uh, see if we can't get things tested out. So next is to get all of our wire out, get lugs on, and uh, Tie it together. It's looking sweet. 
we'll run that power from that parallel bus bar down into these bus bars and then from there on out okay that's where we're at moving on all right a little progress report here so we do have the 12 volt batteries connected to our parallel bus bar and running down to our bus bars I still have to install the shunt somewhere in here which this negative will tie into and then we'll run a negative back over to our negative bus bar but both batteries are connected so when one battery comes turns on both batteries come on so and I've uh, checked the voltage here and we have 13.3 coming out of our bus bars so we'll turn that off and now we're getting ready to connect up our DC so I'm going to go ahead and run a negative up to a shut off switch over to our negative bus bar and then we'll run our positive up to our positive bus bar and then we can start connecting a I'll probably connect the fans on this one first and just give it a try and then we got to start running battery or wires to the front uh, so we can have our light switches so that'll be a task there's going to be a lot of wiring all right so that's what I'm going to do so once I get all this wired up and uh, hook a fan to it we'll give it a try all right so we are lit up I do have my fuse block DC fuse block all hooked up and shut off switch so I don't know if I can do this with one hand but so I've got all right so 13.3 and a little testometer here and we are at 13.29 all right, and then we don't have, let's see if I can't balance you here. Negative, positive, no reading. Turn the switch on. And we have 13.3 sitting at the fuse block. Sweet. Okay, now what we need to do is uh, I think I'm gonna tie the fans in here but this has a 15 amp and I think I want to use a 10 amp the fans run about 5.6 I think somewhere in there but anyway we'll switch these out so I've got to run to the store grab a couple fuses and then uh, we'll go ahead and get those tied in and give that a shot so it's working okay let's make a store run all right, a little bit of a mess going on here, but we are making some headway. So I have the wires to the fan. I have fan one and fan two connected. And uh, now it's time to test them out and see if they work. So we'll switch the battery on, flick the switch on, hopefully nothing pops, and then we'll uh, get the remote out and see if they work. So let's go ahead and do that first. All right, battery is on, and power. Ooh, I heard a chirp. All right, so let's get the remote, hit the fans, and see if they work. Okay, we uh, have the remote, and let's try this fan here first. Ooh. So we are set at 50%. Sucking some air now. Back 
down to 50. How about this one? And we are at 50%. So that's working. Both of them are sucking air out, so that works. Sweet. Well, now we can find a place to mount that. All right, so our fans work. Next is I've got this conglomerate of wires here connected to a couple of bus bars that I use for uh, powering on my portable power generator. But I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and snip these wires, put some ends on them, and just tie them into the fuse block for now so I can have lights and until uh, I get the switches installed and then we'll start running some wire. So I think I'm going to spend a little bit of time, go ahead and clamp those on, and uh, then we can try the lights out just to make sure they work. It's pretty easy to open the back door and flick the switch and I'm good to go until I get my uh, regular switches installed. So I'm going to do that. Hang on. All right, I went ahead and cleaned things up because we're about ready to button it up, but I thought we would try the lights. So. I just got things uh, temporarily wired in here. So this is the on and off switch for the lights currently. And I have five amp fuses for each one of the circuits. <coughs> so we're going to go ahead and button this thing back up. Here we go. Then we can turn the power on. Sweet. And let's see if we have lights. Boom. Lights are working. All right. Turn them off. Turn them on. Sweet. So far, power is working. I think tomorrow I should have my fuse in for the inverter. We can get that installed. We can go ahead and connect at least the uh, this side of the DC to DC charger. Get it in. We'll just leave the uh, circuit breaker tripped. And then uh, we'll have to figure out where we're going to put the bus bar. <laughs> I still need to get the battery charger for these batteries. And somewhere over here We'll install the uh, solar controller, or solar, yeah, solar controller for our, for our solar. <laughs> All right, that's where we're at. Looking pretty good. All right, so that's going to do it for this video. Uh, we do have most of the electronics installed, and uh, we still have some hooking up to do. Now I think my next task is uh, on the other side over by the galley. I need to install a plate for my switches and start running some wiring so we can get things hooked up so we can push switches instead of using the battery on and off switch. So uh, that'll be in our up and coming videos. I don't know how many parts there'll be to this electric stuff and then we'll shoot on over to the plumbing. So it's coming along and uh, getting to where I want to where I want to be. So. Thanks for uh, hanging in there, watching the videos. Thanks for the thumbs ups and the uh, comments. Appreciate that very much. And as always, please stay tuned.